Like Hong Kong is not no longer the place that I used to see, and I hope that making film can be kind of ways to show the atmosphere now in Hong Kong, but also can create something from the people inside the wall. Blue Island is a film that in the past 50 years how we search for Hong Kong identities. It shows the uh, complexities of Hong Kong identities and also the fight for democracy in the uh, 2019 protests. This is my second feature documentary. In my first film, I have a question asked my young protagonist. I asked him, Do you, will you still believe in what you believe in after 30 years? So for this film, I was trying to search for some protagonist that is experiencing some experienced something very big 30 years ago and ask them the question oppositely. Do you still believe in what you believe in 30 years ago? Hong Kong is used to be a very a place that has freedom of speech compared to China. Uh, so I used to be speak freely. Everything I, I can make uh, politically is okay. But uh, seems it no longer happened in Hong Kong now. Uh, in these two years, there's so many change. So somehow it makes us think about what is our value being a Hong Konger. And there's many localism thought about Hong Kong, uh, what Hong Kong should be. I was holding my camera and it is only me in the protesting area and also the occupy area. And for me, it is my weapon because I'm thinking that I didn't hold any guns or anything else, but just my video can be kind of one of the participation as, a, as an activist. So my film can tell the story about the protest about Hong Kong. The situation now in Hong Kong is very depressing. Because when I start working on this film in 2017, uh, I expect the film can show in Hong Kong. And so the main target of the audience actually is Hong Kong people. But after this five years, after the protest in 2019 and also the national security law, actually it is impossible to show in Hong Kong anymore. Uh, so I very cherish every opportunity that I can show the audience, no matter Hong Kong or outside Hong Kong. <laughs> When Hong Kong audience watch this film, they can see more uh, because they have their own experience. And we, when we do some secret screening in Hong Kong, very small secret screening in Hong Kong, we have so much discussion about who am I, who is, what is Hong Kong. So it's very interesting to discuss with Hong Kong, Hong Konger. But at the same time, I really want this film to show to the foreign audience, even they not understand Hong Kong too much. But through this film, they can kind of connection with Hong Kong. Actually, the film is my attempt to answer the question, who am I and what is Hong Kong? And also imagine our future, city's future, especially in this very special times of Hong Kong that we don't see much hope. Uh, I really hope that the, the, the world, other part of the world still care about Hong Kong. So when it go to the screening overseas, it make me think of, okay, this is the way that we continue the process of a, a protest. So it means a lot to me. Mm -hmm.